Hello, everybody. Um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot, uh, simply because, you know, religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I also didn't mean to like mock. This wasn't like a to you people, um, the Christians, like, you know, it wasn't, it was not that. It was literally me saying, oh, I'm back. I'm back like Jesus, like. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Mental Wellness Channel with Waihiga. If you're new here, I hope that you stick around and take a listen to what I have to share. Today, I want to talk about Little Nas X and his J. Christ video. I'm not even going to be sharing the video here. I don't want any parts of that. I'll probably just be putting some images, images mostly, of the video. It's highly blasphemous. It makes fun of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I just wanna talk about it. So let's get into it. I, I, I'm I gonna keep my ting brief. I'm gonna keep my ting brief today. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep my ting brief, but um, when I first heard about this Little Nas X, Little Nas X, for those of you that don't know, is a rapper and he came out with the song Old Town, Old Town Road with uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, who is Miley Cyrus's father, back in 2017. That song was huge for a really long time in 2017. He basically got introduced to children as a huge um, artist. He was the number one artist on Billboard for a really long time. And then he flipped the script on everybody and his music started to go very strange. Um, his music went very satanic. In Montero, Call Me By My Name, when I was still in the world, I watched that music video, I listened to the song. I liked the song, but I didn't like the music video. So I wasn't even a Christian at that point. But I remember that the music video really disturbed me because, and this is going to sound really disturbing to those of you who are Christians watching my video, um, this rapper did twerk and strip on the devil in that music in that music video this rapper also released some shoes that were called 666 shoes um they were satanic shoes and he said that he he, he had put his blood in the shoes um and he had released like 6666 or he had it was something crazy like that like, like they were 666 um, numbers amount of shoes that people were available for people to get so little Nas X has been doing this whole devil Christianity heaven hell Jesus the devil playing on that kind of thing for a while about two weeks ago he came out talking about how he's planning to be a Christian or he now is a so-called Christian and he plans to <laughs> expose the music industry for all its satanism and he said he was gonna come up with a christian album personally i knew he was trolling and trolling is making fun he was trolling us it was literally me saying oh i'm back i'm back like jesus like that was like the whole thing i'm not the first person to dress up as jesus i'm not the first rapper i'm not the first artist and i won't be the last um and i know like given my history with you know the call me by your name video anything that i do related to religion can be seen as like mockery that just was not the case with this and i will say though with the communion video with me eating the crackers and juice i uh i thought that video was going to be the video to lighten the mood to take it down like less serious or whatnot i thought that was something that we all wanted to do with kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of, um, you know, the reality of what it is. You know, it's me eating the communion, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's 
blood and and bones or something like that. I don't remember com- completely, but um, I did not mean it to as like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak. But I do apologize for that. I will say I am sorry for that. That that was overboard. Though I'm I don't agree with all of Christianity's rules or whatnot. I know not everybody follows Christianity by the book 100% or, you know, the world would be a lot crazier. Um, But I do apologize for that. Uh, What was I going to say? This is not like to try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know, I know, like, you know, I I messed up like really bad this time. Um, And I can act unbothered all I want, but it's it's definitely like taking a mental toll on me. Uh, What else did I want to say? Um... I know this is not going to be like an immediate, like swift, everybody like moves forward or whatnot. But I do want my Christian fans to know that I am not against you. As a Christian, if you're serious about your faith, if you're serious about turning your life over to the care of God, as you understand God to be who is Jesus Christ, something in you changes. You crucify yourself in the sense that your needs, your desires, your wants, you give them up to Christ. And you let him mold you to become whatever he wants you to become. And what God and what Jesus Christ wants you to become is a reflection of him. That's ultimately what God wants for each and every one of us. So if you are a new Christian or if you are a Christian that's been walking this journey for a long time, the only way that I can see that you are bearing fruit And a bearing good fruit is if I'm seeing a reflection of Jesus Christ in you. If I'm seeing your likeness to Christ. If I'm seeing that you're excelling. If you're becoming more like Christ and less of yourself. Then I'm like, I'm convinced that you're doing something. That your heart posture has moved towards God. And you're truly chasing after the man of God. That's what you're doing. However, when little Nas X came out and said that he was going to expose the industry, going to do this, going to do that, he's basically just, um, it was a marketing gimmick, riding the wave of how everybody loves to expose Hollywood these days and how everybody's trying to see what is satanic, what is satanism, and how everybody is so obsessed with Hollywood and the rise and fall of Hollywood stars. People want to know, are Beyonce, are Jay-Z, are Nicki Minaj, are Rihanna, are all these people Satanists? Are they in the Illuminati and whatnot? Lil Nas X knows that. He knows that those videos do well. He knows that people are gullible and love to watch such things. So... He made a whole campaign out of it talking about how he is going to be exposing the industry. And when he finally did drop an album, when he finally did drop the song, it was called J Christ, which is such a mockery of Jesus Christ. And of course, he was in the video depicting himself on a cross. Of course, he was in drag walking through heaven. Of course, he was making fun of holy communion you know eating the bread which basically represents the breaking down of the body of christ and the wine taking of the wine which is the blood that was shed the blood that jesus christ shed on that cross for each and every one of us who do not reject him and i have not brought myself to watch the video i i honestly i can't do it Um, Right now, I think it's at 5 million views. I don't think it's something that we as Christians will be called or are called to do. Go watch the video to make a point. Go watch the video to write underneath there. Oh, God save your soul. Oh, absolutely not. Just leave it alone. All we can do is pray for this man because he is playing with God. And that's the thing. People that play around with God, it doesn't end well. It does not end well for you. And I wish that Lil Nas X would just understand that you are playing in the face of your creator. The face of your creator. There are bigger things than selling albums. There are bigger things than money. There are bigger things than creating art. There are bigger things than what you are doing right now. 
what you are doing right now has ramifications and consequences that reach so far beyond what you can see in the physical. It stretches out into the spiritual. And if you do not repent about what you have done, what you have displayed in the faces of millions and millions of people, and how you have openly mocked God, you will surely come to regret it. I do pray that you're not this foolish, that somewhere deep within you, you fear God. The beginning of wisdom is to, and the beginning of understanding is fearing God. God is not a loving, cuddly, let's take a selfie God all the time. That's not who God is. People have messed up the perception of God and the characteristics of God. God is a God of vengeance and God will not be mocked. Just because he loves you and just because he loves me doesn't mean he will allow himself to be mocked along with the rest of your followers. God doesn't operate like that. So if there's any sense of wisdom within yourself, repent, repent and beg God for forgiveness. The check is not worth it. The fame is not worth it. The contract was not worth it. The movie deal was not worth it. Whatever they offered you, it was not worth it. There's a saying in the Bible and it goes, you know, what good is a man for him to sell his soul, for him to gain, gain the world and sell his soul. So you've sold your soul. You are now linked to this world, to eternal world of burning in hell forever and ever, eternally forever and ever all because of a marketing campaign that you wanted to sell your album you played with god's name so that you could sell an album an album wouldn't matter an album wouldn't matter when we die an album wouldn't matter when we are resurrected and we have to go and stand before the living god and account for the sins and account for everything that we have done in our lives. An album will not matter. Album sales will not matter. But you blaspheming the word of God, you blaspheming God himself and his son, that is going to matter big time. Because one of the most terrifying words that I can think of that are in the Bible is when Jesus says, some will come to me, like on judgment day. Some will come to me, like the torture we will feel will be crazy. Some will come to me in my name and say, Lord, Lord, I knew you. And Jesus will look us straight in the eye or look at those people straight in the eye and say, depart from me, I never knew you. Wait. <laughs> to me, that those are the scariest um lines sentences in the in the bible to have jesus christ tell me depart from me i never knew you because of the things that i have done here that i did not repent of and i died and i didn't get to repent and now i'm face to face with god and now it's too late so if you have any sense of wisdom if you have any sense of anything Please repent. God will not be mocked. You, you can understand and know that. The dark side will never win. Before I go, kindly hit that subscription bell. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on my socials and let me know in the comments below what you think about this video. I really hope that people wake up. Until the next video, bye-bye.